tilling the soil and reaping the harvest, the vast majority of Kenyans and their living the sway of the land. Agriculture is a critical component of the Kenyan economy, contributing 24% of the GDP. It employs about 80% of the country's labor force, directly and indirectly. And top of the agenda to forum in Nairobi, the potential risk and returns of investing more in agriculture. Many of our farmers are small-scale farmers. And they have very serious challenges accessing credit, accessing farm inputs, accessing new technology because of issues of capacity. 30%, only 30% of our farmers use certified seed. 70% don't because they cannot afford, because there is no mechanism for financing and credit for them to afford the farm inputs. Despite the central role that agriculture plays in the Kenyan economy, the sector continues to face a myriad of challenges. Access to finance is top of the list. The recent performance of the sector has been poor with declining growth. growth. This dismal performance has happened in the face of declining agricultural credit, particularly from commercial banks. Kenya recently went through a serious drought that resulted in a food crisis following a succession of poor rains. And while the situation has improved, it is estimated that up to 10 million people in the country are still at a risk of acute hunger. We cannot say that we have sufficiently invested in primary production if 10 million of our own citizens are still faced with hunger. I think that's not, that then it's not, it's not correct that we have invested sufficiently on primary production. I still believe, Mr. Chairman, that there is room for the private sector, public sector, to finance production. Food security is the most critical and cuts across all other developmental objectives. And most of you will recall the devastating drought that we have last year, we had last year. And obviously, it means that once the food supply is not there, once drought is affecting the whole totality of the economy, food security becomes very, very paramount. So it cuts all manner of uh, all forms of developmental objectives. Currently, there are more than 5 million smallholders engaged in different types of agricultural activities in the country but their contribution is curtailed by lack of agricultural capacity. The smallholder farmers have done as well. And I look at studies even in the 60s and 70s and the 80s in terms of supply response from uh, smallholder farmers. I personally come from a smallholder setting and I do believe that it, was, it has done the country proud in terms of production, in terms of quality assurance, in terms of adopting high yielding varieties. They have done as well in terms of adopting new methods. But this has not been supported by the appropriate infrastructure where cooperatives has worked both in marketing and even creating buffers for them. It has worked well. Where it hasn't worked, it has actually been very, very poor. That is why we have failed perhaps by lack of supporting agricultural infrastructure. The Vision 2030 plan is a bid by the Kenyan government to achieve an average growth rate of 7% per year until the year 2012. This will be done by allocating more resources to agriculture. The government through the Treasury has committed itself to increase budgetary allocation to the agricultural sector from 4.5% of GDP to 8% over the next three years in line with the Maputo Declaration of 2003 that sought to increase the allocation, of, allocation to 10% of GDP in developing countries. Experts contend that the country has huge potential for more food production and data from the Ministry of Agriculture indicates that 3.8 million hectares exist for the production of food crops. However, only 2.2 million hectares, which represent 57%, is under production. Investment in agriculture in the agricultural sector contributes to overall economic growth by increasing efficiency in, mar in the marketing chain, reducing the share of hard-earned income spent on food, and enabling the purchase of other goods and services, like education for girls and improved health care and housing. 
Moving forward, it is expected that the forum will showcase opportunities and financial instruments available to promote agricultural lending, an important tool that will see the country transformed to a food basket.